Good morning, good morning, good morning. Cannot believe it is Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Ju uh, June. I was going to say July, June 2nd. Halfway through the year, almost. Um, and it's just been the crazy, crazy year. So quick question here. Uh, a lot of people ask me, hey, Greg, when's a good time to lock in? When should we do this? When should we not? Should we hold off? Wait a week or two? So right now, there's a lot of uncertain times right now because inflation's starting to creep up, okay? And as inflation creeps up, that is the arch enemy to bonds. Bonds are tied to mortgage rates, okay? I'm going to keep it very general. So as inflation goes up, that means bonds start taking a hit, okay? And it means pricing starting to get worse. So what I help all of our clients do is show them multiple options. So I'll show them three or four options. I'll send it to them so they can take a look at it and figure out which is the best option to go with them. My advice to them if they're worried uh, is to lock in as soon as you feel comfortable taking a look at these options. So if there's one option like you like, let's lock it in. You fix your budget, be done with it so you don't lose sleep at night, especially during these times. It's a little bit tricky right now. Now, there's a good chance that rates can go back down again, but they're still extremely low. I mean, when I first got in this business, rates were roughly around 7.5, 7.875, somewhere around there, and then they dropped to like 6.1 and people started refinancing like crazy at 6.1. Now, if you say that to people now, you know, I'm talking about almost 20 years ago, uh, people would just totally freak out. Oh my gosh, 6%, which is a phenomenal rate over the last 50 years, by the way. So anyway, uh, that's the answer to the question. When the lock in is when you feel comfortable with it, because you don't want to take any chances with it. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, it kind of blows up on you and then all of a sudden it's a, it's costing you an extra quarter of a discount or it's costing you an extra eighth of a rate. Is it really worth that? Then, then just to lock it in, be comfortable with your budget. That's why it's so important to, to send you options so you kind of look through it so you can see the short-term effects and then the long-term effects of each one of these options so you can make the best decision. So uh, any more questions on that, just comment down below, shoot me a private message or shoot me a text at 423-262. 9229. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Hey, Diane, thanks for chiming in. And I will go from there. So if you got any questions, we'll answer it right away. And then, uh, uh, you know, take the next steps. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.